Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm really excited to be presenting our game today. It's called Farmer's Market. Um, I'm going to introduce my team first. Right here, we have Jacob, our music god, our overall gameplay, game engine um, slave. <laughs> he worked on everything along with Nick. He set up the network in three weeks himself, which is just unheard of. We got Leon here, um, worked on the physics engine, um, game logic, and most importantly, he recently released a game on Steam. Um, <laughs> contract killer, check it out. <laughs> um, we got Cher. She made the 2D assets for our game. I really think that it adds a special touch, um, a, like a touch of nostalgia, a touch of warmth, just like something extra that really brings out the feeling. Um, we got Cynthia, our engine god. She got animations working on the first day. And just being able to see our models instantly made us so motivated to just make an amazing game. We got Jenny, who literally learned all of the UI just for this course, set it all up for us. God bless her. Um, and then I made the models and animations, you know. Um, also helped with the gameplay. I think all of us actually worked on the gameplay game logic. Um, one really special part of our team was just the psychological safety that we had, um, Powell. Um, but like, uh, so if there was any bug or any problems, we just bring it up, help each other out. If anyone needed help, someone would just jump on call instantly. It was just an amazing environment. And I'd also like to thank Professor Volker for giving us this experience. Um, all right, so uh, if you want. This is our concept art. We did spend a lot of time planning, lots of Animal Crossing, um, Stardew Valley, overcooked vibes, yes. Um, next. Um, here is an example of our uh, 2D assets and 3D assets, all made by us. Um, some map assets were from Unity, thank you very much. Um, and then we also wanted to add ray tracing. Unfortunately, it didn't make it in. Some guy on Reddit told us it was impossible and that we're idiots for considering it. We did do it. Don't listen to Reddit. Um, <laughs> yes, it's a work in progress. Someday it'll make it in. All right. Oh, yeah, you can skip this. Well, or you can show it off. This is just our, our mood throughout the weeks. You know, it just keeps getting <laughs> progressively worse. <laughs> this was us last night. All right, so um, down to our game, Farmer's Market. Um, so initially at the very start, we knew that we wanted to make an amazing looking game, hence the ray tracing. Um, but obviously, farming, beautiful game happens a lot. Like we already know a bunch, right? So we needed something dark. <laughs> so we decided to let the players poison each other's crops, destroy each other's farms, intoxicate each other and you know just capitalism and that's what we did <laughs> so now farmers market is a 3d third person game where you can destroy your friendships or have a great time farming and whoever uh, makes the most money wins because you know capitalism <laughs> all right so here's our character selection and yeah I'll let our boys take over all right, so here you can choose uh, one of four characters. We've got Bumbus, Pogo, Swanky, and Gilman. Uh, wh which one are you choosing, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, wait, yeah, we need two people. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. We have to have uh, two people from the audience, uh, if anyone wants to play. Um, we'll go with you and you. Yes. All right. <laughs> Wait, Leon's not playing. Okay, Leon's playing, and then it's it's uh, Jenny's. Right now we're in the character selection screen, so all the four players are going to choose a character. Uh, right, uh, right now one uh, player can only choose one character. So uh, if you if you're late, thick dips like how Leon is right now. 
he has to go with the rest uh what's left All right, so uh, what Leon just did is he uh, pressed F and then he can access the NPC's shop. Um, here he can buy a whole bunch of vegetables that he can later plant at his own plots. And also, if he goes to the other page, we have a whole bunch of sabotage items, which he will be using later. So he just bought a carrot and uh, looks like he's going to his area. It's marked with a sign, that's him. Um, you can only plant vegetables in your own plots. Um, and you can only take vegetables from your own plots unless you have special items. And so all he has to do is, once it grows, just takes it back and uh, sells it to the guy. And that's the game. <laughs> yeah. So here he bought a tomato. And uh, the tomato is a little bit different. Instead of just planting and waiting for it to grow, it needs water and fertilizer. So he has to go back and he has to buy water or get the watering can and buy fertilizer. Oh. oh so here uh, he just got ailed. So that means that someone bought a sabotage item and it messes up his movement. So he can't move properly. He's intoxicated. <laughs> Now Pogo is strong and just sliding over everywhere. And so here he's, oh, and now he just got glued so he can't move at all for about 10 seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, every, every character has their own dance. Now that so. Pogo stuck, Pogo better be dancing. If anyone rec recognizes this dance, we got some from, from Fortnite. <laughs> we got some from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, I think Fortnite dances were our uh, number one priority making this game. It's all about the juice. It is all about the juice. Yeah. And we, we had the water, and now Bogo is fertilizing the tomato. Now he just has to wait for it to grow, and then he could sell it. Yeah, we, we got some good ambience in here. <laughs> oh, now he's bought some poison, so he can go ahead and poison other people's uh, vegetables before they can sell them. Seems, seems he's looking to exempt some revenge. There you go. Oh. oh, so here he buys the hoe and he can make his own plot just by pressing F anywhere. And there he goes. Oh, and also we have a day-night cycle. So right now it's sunset and it's about to turn night and it'll stay night for about five minutes before it turns back to day again. There you go. Now you can see the fireflies spawn. Oh, so here we have uh, the golden eggplant has spawned. Um, the first person to find and sell the golden eggplant gets uh, $100 in this currency, not in real life. But <laughs> um, it's a, it's, Ooh, oh, there it is. Found eggplant. Uh, th holding the golden eggplant makes you a lot slower, and there's a big light on you, so it makes you very susceptible to getting it stolen. So oh, no. here. <laughs> now everyone's trying to steal a golden eggplant. How is, he, how is he juking them? How are you juking them? How is he doing this? Someone take it. Oh! <laughs> how did he do it? That's very rare. But as you see, since Leon managed to sell the eggplant, he's the richest now. $95 ahead of the next competitor.
Oh yeah, uh, that whistle sound it plays any time that you steal something from someone or have something stolen from you. And you can steal any item out of any player's hand. There you go. Sell it, sell yeah. it, sell it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, and here he bought the Super Oats, which uh, replenishes your stamina and makes it so that you can run for a very long time. So here you can see his stamina bar on the right is going down way slower, so uh, you can chase people down a lot faster. Oh, and now he's got the shovel. The shovel's a really good one. Uh, you can destroy other people's plots with it, whether there's a vegetable on it or not. So, Poor frog. <laughs> Retribution. <laughs> but seems like Leon is in a pretty huge lead right now. Let's see if Arrex can catch up. So there might be like a slight learning curve to this game. So it's all about the strategy. So he just bought the net, and he can use... Oh, never mind. Someone just sold the net. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you use the net, uh, you can steal uh, vegetables from other people's plots, which you normally can't do. And then you can just sell them for yourself. <laughs> and this glue is really good. <laughs> yeah, the glue is very useful for, for stealing. Uh, stealing items, because they're helpless. They can't do anything. But it seems that nobody has anything planted, so right now there's nothing to steal. Bad move from Leon. play this game there's two types of players one of them um, I personally like to just plant and farm t tomatoes because they give you a bunch of money and then there's people like Leon who just deviously buy only sabotage tools <laughs> and steal from me <laughs> and then um, yeah it, there's like a bunch of strategies some people started um, planting plots right next to the NPC for quick selling and then once that strategy developed people started destroying plots more um, it's kind of like lots of strategy. I really liked it. And also the winning strategy really depends on what everyone else is doing. If everyone's farming close to the plots, then it's very easy to destroy. But if everyone's farming in their own plots, then no one's going to be around uh, near the NPC to mess with your plots. Yeah, I'm a, oh. So the music changes when it uh, gets back to daytime and uh, the night's officially over and we're, we're nearing the end of the game. Um, my personal favorite strategy is to put a whole bunch of plots near the center, but uh, everyone just ends up destroying them, so not that great. There we oh, see Le oh. Leon using the dash to going for the steal. There oh. you go. <laughs> now it seems they're all out of stamina. He's tossing him. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and they sold Bumbo's them. got it back. Oh, there stealing the tomato. Hey, there, there we go. go. <laughs> Poor Gilman. Poor Gilman. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's too good. 
Nothing can stop him. As you see, he's practiced dodging people. Oh, two minutes left. Uh, here we go. Sam Salmon's really salty. <laughs> and as all this music you're hearing, everything is original composition by Jacob. And you, you help. I help. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and you see this beautiful gooey, the fish in the fish shop. <laughs> Someone really doesn't like Leon. <laughs> oh, okay, revenge. <laughs> Five more seconds. Congratulations to Leon. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now we'll be uh, taking questions. Thank you so much. It, it was all about planning. It was all about our team. Like, I think we just started off extremely strong. And then we spent days in the dungeon just planning out our system design. And, you know, Cynthia just, like, got everything started off like really quick and you know we got the starter code we got the design and then we just built our game off of that mm -hmm. yeah and just seeing the progress because so we planned our um, project to be very iterative so it started off just like movement and then it became um, farming and then it became sabotaging so we made our design very additive and even now like we can still add more sabotage tools or more maps or direct X ray tracing, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we just planned our system out from the very beginning and it really paid off, especially thanks to Jacob for his planning. Uh, question from here. During the August playtesting that developed a meta game that was obvious during the session, I wanted to ask if there ever were teams that formed. Oh my God, <laughs> yes. So this guy right here, every single time we played, he would just like snicker in the background and just sabotage us. So like what we, we ended up doing was we just formed an alliance against this guy. And <laughs> we could not, um, even right now he's snickering. <laughs> um, Here you go. But yes. That's my signature snicker. We did form teams and I don't know why, but the guys seemed pretty aggressive when it came to sabotaging. So we, we really, we had the number advantage because we had four girls. <laughs> Everyone just gang up against me basically. You deserved it. There's a, there's a reason why Nick's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we didn't want to make the audience um, feel bad. Yeah. yeah uh, Any other questions? Question? question from up there. Is Pogo and Anthropomorphic comfy or are they an animal wearing a comfy? Oh, Jenny, <laughs> Jenny, get over here. <laughs> Does anybody need a little bit of music? 
Actually, the first, uh, the inspiration is like it's a ghost and wearing a pumpkin. So there's nothing behind it. Technically, but it can it can also be an animal. It all depends on the viewer. <laughs> Up to interpretation. Uh, from here. <laughs> because the frog was salty from the game. Uh, here. Oh, okay. So um, I hadn't 3D modeled in a while. Um, initially, it was very hard. And then after a while, like the polygons were messed up, the normals were messed up, the textures were messed up, the loading didn't work. <laughs> um, but with enough time, and also, my god, rigging is hard. <laughs> um, everything was made from scratch, like all of the models, the rigging, the textures, and the animations. And then once you do it for like three weeks, or in this case, 10 weeks, you just get used to it. And then I think getting the dance animations down was actually the hardest part, because they don't actually have elbows. Um, <laughs> So I actually just gained so much experience using Maya with this project, and it was really exciting. Yeah. And fun fact, for the dances, we had reference models, which include none other than? Yeah. Can we get no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Any other questions? What was the inspiration oh. for the music? Um, for the music, I think, like, Especially for like the Time's Up theme, like I feel like a lot of it was just like Super Mario Galaxy because I felt like it was like kind of easy to emulate like some of the non-orchestral parts, and uh, other stuff was just like I bought new equipment and I wanted to try out like um, recording like digital orchestral instruments. So that that was it. But yeah, a question from up here. Um, I think that's just time restrictions. Originally, at the beginning of the um, of planning, we planned that each player would have like a basket that they could hold, and the basket would have like inventory. But um, this just ended up being easier to implement, and it gave us more time to implement a whole bunch of other features that we wouldn't have been able to implement otherwise. But even for the basket, we initially only planned to have very limited capacity, like four, so you don't have to go back and forth with your seats. Maybe you can get three seats, four seats, and go to your plots. And we purposefully limited the number of things you can hide in an inventory to encourage stealing and to encourage other sabotages. So you can't just hoard items. You have to like to pl uh, you have to like to plan out where you're gonna go, when you wanna plant, and where do you wanna harvest. And you gotta be in the lookout like, oh, when you're going to the NPC, are there other players around? So uh, in that sense, uh, we thought that the game would be uh, better off if you uh, if the item you're holding is there like for uh, for uh, for other people to grab. Uh, from here. Uh, how do you guys Oh, you want to answer this one? <laughs> what was the question? How do we implement shadows? What? Shadows. Oh. Um, I just used this method called like cascaded shadow mapping. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that all you? Or, oh, no, no, no. Well, you did the sine wave stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is like kind of maybe like a 3D practice. So um, basically, Danica modeled the whole world. And so I first used like sine to like offset the vertices. Um, but I restricted it to vertices that were like above zero for the y value. So like the whole grass wouldn't move, but it's just like everything of the grass, but not the root, if that makes sense. And the same thing for the leaves, except I also added like a little noise map. So it's not just moving left to right, but it's also kind of like rustling. has a little bit of, huh? Rustling. That's the word, rustling. So it has like a little bit of distortion, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically like general. Very good.
go. The oh. names of all the dance moves. That's, yeah, that's this is question. all you. <laughs> um, we got Snoop Dogg on Pogo, the first place one. We got the Floss on Gilman, the second place. Um, this the third one was a Fortnite dance. It was like, I don't know. I got it from Fortnite. Thank you very much, Fortnite. Um, and then the last one is al also like a very popular Fortnite dance. Yes, I, I'm not entirely sure what their names are, but I will. I can definitely follow up with you on that. <laughs> All right, and dancing is a great way to end the demo. Thank you.